as peep the, the decorations. So let's turn our ears on, right, Miss Hannah? Yes. Thank you, Trevor. Let's click our ears on. Let's go ahead and do that. And if you're watching online, you can do that too. I know we can't see you, but we want to make sure that you're paying attention. And we want to also welcome you if you're watching from San Antonio. We're so excited to have you guys. So today, you see, you guys see the flowers. Aren't they so beautiful? Yes. Can we try it again? Aren't the flowers so beautiful? Yes. So today's title for our kids lesson well, not necessarily kids, because we know that this is family time, which is directed to the kids, but we know that us adults can actually learn from this too, right? Okay, I'm going to ask you all to participate. It's so awesome when we participate, because then we can actually retain the information, and then we can learn. Okay, so our title today is Mercy Flowers. Can you guys say that? That oh, sounds so beautiful. I love it. So today's scripture comes from Psalm 52, 8, and it says this, But I am like a green olive tree in the house of God. I trust in the mercy of God forever. And in this particular scripture, with God by his side, David, kids, can you say David? David, yeah, I love the big kids that, that piped up. Thank you. <laughs> David compared himself to like an olive tree flourishing in the house of God. Not only is an olive tree one of the longest living trees, but a flourishing tree that has greater longevity. Kids, that just means a long life. That's a big fancy word for long life. But God's mercy, and that's what Pastor James is going to be talking about today. God's mercy can be described in many, many different ways. For example, his mercy is tender. Can you say tender? Tender. tender. Yes, Jeremiah. Thank you. His mercy is great. Can you say great? great? Great. His mercy never fails. And more importantly, his mercy is undeserving by sinners. Who are sinners? Yes, us, me and you and my sister and my grandma and my great-great-grandpa. So today we're going to learn about these flowers. Is that what I'm holding? I'm holding some pretty flowers, huh? Yeah, there's different colors. There's a yellow, there's red, there's purple, and there's orange. So remember we started the script with the scripture is Psalm 52, 8. When I was reading about this, I read that a great godly man named John Bunyan once wrote, all the flowers in God's garden are doable. Can I get you guys to imagine a field that is covered with flowers like this? Like so far that you can't even see. The only thing that you can see is flowers. Isn't that pretty? Isn't that amazing? So picture this. That's how God's mercy is. It's abundant. It's never ending. So I'm going to tell you guys what these mean. So what color is this one? What did we say? Yellow. Yellow. So this one can represent tender mercy because God cares for us. His care is always, always, always loving and tender. And what about this one? This color, it's under my computer, sorry. Yes, Jeremiah, man, you, you get the gold star for today. This one is red. This is God's great mercy. You can't measure God's mercy, and it goes on forever and ever. Thank you so much, Miss Julieta. You are such a servant. And the next one, what color is this? I bet Jeremiah can answer what color. It's purple. Yes, it's purple. That's undeserving. Did you know that God's mercy is undeserving? But he took the punishment for you. He took the punishment for me so we can get his mercy every single day because it's new every morning. The last one, what color is this? Orange. And if you're watching online, it might be a little hard. But, yeah, Jessica, I hear you. Yep. Yeah. Or Christian, if you're watching from San Antonio, this is orange. And the orange is God's unfailing mercy. His mercy, it will never leave you. Just like his love and his grace. The Bible tells us, like I said, his mercy is new every single morning. Because we're going to mess up every day, right? Sometimes we're not deserving of his love. But he took that punishment for me and he took it for you. And his mercy, it's never failing. So there's a lot of pretty flowers here, huh? But you think all these are pretty? They're abundant. They're a lot. God's mercy, his love, his grace, his patience, 
never runs out. It's more than enough. And you are more than enough to receive that today. So can I invite you guys to stand up really quick? Let mercy be your friend today. It will help you, and it will give you great, great joy in your life. So we're going to get ready for service because Pastor James has an amazing word from the Lord today. But we have to be ready to receive that. Kids, make sure you don't check out too because I think there's going to be little nuggets that you guys can learn and you can teach your parents. Because we know that you guys are paying attention. We know that you're taking notes. And we know that you are making a huge difference. So to get our hearts prepared and our minds prepared, let's do it again. Let's click our ears on. All of us, let's all click our ears on because we're ready to hear from the Lord. We're ready to hear a word that's going to be transformational. It's not going to be a moment, but it's going to be momentum to take us into what the Lord has for us. So let's pray. Lord, thank you so much for this time. Thank you so much for reminding us that your mercy is never failing. That you love us enough that you sent your son to die for us, to take on all of our punishment. And that even though we mess up every single day, that your mercies are new every single morning. Father, speak to us today. We stand with expectation. We love you. We're grateful for you. In Jesus' name, amen.